Good morning. Hello everyone. This morning at Sang's place is currently the last days of August and is about to start September of that calendar, everyone, and this period of time at the end of August and beginning of September is the time that is called it rains the most almost every day and it rains all the time and it rains all the time, then the river water in Sang's place is very large, as well as very cloudy and this time period is the time on the village. Mr. Kwan called it the season of lentils, everyone, usually, the big catfish follows the turbid flood water, it will go upstream and upstream and this is the season to catch the mausoleum, I remember a few years ago when Sang first met Mr. Huang, Sang also made a few videos of hunting monsters with Huang, but those trips were not very successful, everyone, they were able to catch them, fish but all are small fish of only a few kilograms, there is no fish that is 10 or 20 kilograms for everyone, according to the adults in the village of Mr. Huang, there are many fish in the river. There are many kinds of fish that are big, the ones that are about 20 or 30 kilograms or more. People, the elderly people in the river catch a lot, but until today, they have not had the opportunity to catch them. Those fish, so today Sang invited Mr. Huan, the two brothers will go down to the river. This is a trip to hunt for sea monsters, everyone. The two brothers also went down to the river. This time, Sang and Mr. Huan and two small dogs were only there. Because this season, the river flows very fast and there will be flash floods, everyone. The brothers did not dare to invite many people, just like they did not dare to bring a few children, only two brothers, adults can go to the river if something happens, I can handle it in time, everyone, rivers and streams are actually more dangerous than going to the forest, so only adults can go to the river this season. Mr. Huan intends to go fishing first as well as going to continue fishing with a fishing rod, so Sang brought here four fishing rods and Huan brought another net that you will just hook up. Just spread the net, hope this trip will be successful, the furniture will be ready for everyone, now Sang, Mr. Huan and two small dogs will depart well, this trip will be long and going this season will also be very dangerous, everyone, because of the waterfalls. The waterfall that you guys used to go through when catching bees. Today the water flows very as Ziet and this trip saying did not say in advance whether he would catch any fish as well as stick to sea monsters or not. Because fishing in this river is also very unlucky everyone. If you're lucky, you'll stick. If you're unlucky, you probably won't. So let's hope this trip will be successful. Now it's time for the two of you. Going to depart. This season is very dangerous, so Sang and Huan prepared to bring two life jackets. This is the dry season that you will never see, everyone. Before it was a wave, everyone Sang can rise about half a meter. The wave is very big. This season, the water flows quickly so it forms big waves, so it is very dangerous to go this season. Until now, the Sang brothers also came to the point to stop, here is a hut. This is a camp of fishing brothers, Sang and Huan will come in to take advantage of it. This is done, the Sang brothers, first of all, fishing here as well as fishing, the water flows really fiercely, there is a tarpaulin, and here is a tent ready, in this clear there is a hammock with this and that, so now it's a little more milky and you can stay here for a day or two, from here, you can see, the river there flows very fast, that's the waterfall that went down, it ran very fast, this is the place where the brothers slept in a dune in the middle, river, here it has a stone block blocking the water, when the water rises, the place you sleep here will not be flooded, this side is also a river and the other side also has a small stream, this place is a dune, tonight, the brothers will sleep here as well as fishing in the other place and go fishing below that part, everyone, hopefully this trip it will work. Mr. Huan is fixing the surface a little bit because of this, it's also falling down a bit, everyone, fix it up neatly, just now, Huan's brother just finished fixing it, the hut, here, the hut is also simple, there is a tarp stretched above, leaving the tree over, tonight, the Sang brothers will tie the stone, the hammock from here to other, Sang will tie it from here to over here, today the two of you will come down here, mainly going to hunt river fish, now focus on the time when I'm fishing, everyone, spread the fish, so Huan makes a net here, so that I can spread my net into the river, find some small fish as bait for fishing, catch big fishes only by casting a fishing line, usually it is difficult to drop the net, everyone, because of the fish big if it sticks to the net it will tear it off, 
This net bring will mainly go to spread small fish for bait people. The small fish will get caught in this net, will remove and hook on the hook to make big fishing bait. Now Mr. Kwan is preparing to divide the net into several segments so that the Sang brothers will start to spread. Here it looks very open from the outside. Mr. Huan brought the net and dropped it at the top of the waterfall to earn some money. Small fish, if you want to catch big fish, now you have to find a fish, called a football fish, everyone, usually it will stick to the rocks under the cloudy water here, let it eat seaweed, that football fish goes fishing for sardines or red trout, it really likes to eat, so now the two of you will go and drop a small net, if there is any. When it comes to football fish, the two brothers continue to go fishing, catching big fish is only a way of casting a fishing line. If you stretch a net, it won't stick, spreading this net is mainly looking for small fish. Now Mr. Huan will drop me this long net down there. The red trout and the rock green like to eat this kind of fish, so you can put a few here. Now, Mr. Huan will take it off to make bait, like this is not enough. So now maybe the two brothers will bring the net down there to spread it again, everyone, try to get a lot of bait and range. Two or three dozen fish like that is enough bait. I have to catch it while it's alive, I hook it into the bait and it's easy to stick. This is the fish, this football fish, everyone. See it beautiful knot. This one, the big catfish love to eat, everyone or this catfish, now put it in a net bag for it to live. This will give you five, six children. Just now, I went to Huan, everyone, just finished releasing the nets to find bait fish, over here, Mr. Kwan is making fishing line rigs, like in a few years, I will tie a line from this side of the river. Go all the way to the other side of the river, to hook the bait on that side and let the line sink and I'll go catch fish, when the fish sees the bait it will eat my bait, I'm tying the line, now next, Mr. Huan will grab his tongue inside his main line and this is the hook so that I can fish this flood, then this season the trout are usually very big people, the ones that don't. It's sticky, it's only big fish, so I use the tongue but it's this big guys, see the hook inside the hand. It's bigger than a thumb, only these tongues can stick to big fish. As for the smaller tongue, the fish it eats will break the tongue. Here and now, Mr. Huan will start by grabbing the inside. Think of this as the number of baits that the two of you have been netting for a while. Everyone, there are a lot of goby fish here and a big toad fish, so these two guys will hook them up. Everyone, long hook from here to the other side of the river, this one, I will soak here until the next morning, I will visit, the white fish bait, the laying it doesn't like to eat very much, everyone, only this goby bait, the goby is very fond of eating, and this goby is tough, when it comes to big fish, we have to fish live baits, this goby has a long life in the water it will be easier to stick, just hook about two strings, it will tie it to the rock for the bait to sink, the bigger the bait, the easier it will be to stick to the big, Fish finished hooking the bait from here to the river to the other side river, the total number of hooks above is more than 20, everyone, this one, the two Sang brothers will soak here until the next morning, then I will visit. Because big fish usually go. After eating at night, I'll just leave it here, now, the Sang brothers will run up there to drop a few nets to visit everyone tomorrow morning, now Mr. Huan is tying the stone here. That's it. This one will be soaked here. Hopefully after one night it will stick to fish. I'm only going to visit tomorrow, now the two of you run up there to drop your nets, everyone. So just now, Sang and Mr. Huan also went fishing and dropped the nets, everyone, today's task that's it, now the two of you go back to your hut. The two brothers took advantage of bathing as well as cooking a pot of rice, the rice cooked just now is already cooked, everyone, tonight is the first meal that Sang and Mr. Huan went to the river, so everyone. The food here also brings sugar, meat, and then cooked with a tomato with some fried meat. Tonight is a bit hearty, then today's work is also finished, so invite everyone to come along. With two brothers Sang we have dinner. Yesterday, 
the two brothers took advantage of the hut to sleep early, and today continue to go fishing. Because the Sang brothers come down here, they can stay for the next three or four days, so they don't stay up too much at night, planning to go night fishing, fishing with a fishing rod, everyone, but it will be okay in the end. And now, please invite everyone to go inside the hut. See where the two brothers slept last night. Last night, here the waterfall was flowing over there, so I slept quite well. Mr. Huan I'm still sleeping here. Even though it's a rock that you guys can still get, two dogs sleep below, on this side, it's foggy in the morning. It's closed up here, so the feeling of going into the forest is very cold. It's foggy at night when I sleep. It's low right here, it will fly inside, so it's extremely cold to sleep. Now go. Down the fishing line that I dropped yesterday to see if after one night the fishing line of Sang's brothers was lucky, caught anything or not, the feeling of visiting fishing, is it? I like it very much everyone, because I don't know what it will stick to, so it won't be, not sure if it will stick or not but the two brothers will have hope, now run from from down to the waterfall here everyone, see, it always flies over here, too dangerous the waves are too big, need to row. Where did you tie the rope yesterday? Yesterday, Sang and Mr. Huan, the two brothers dropped their nets in two fishing lines, now let's visit the net first. As for the fishing line, I will visit later. Here it is, this net extends to the outside, everyone, it's too much, it's stuck with the sardines. Whatever I do as bait fish, I'll do it, the rest I'll keep the kitchen. Sang and his brothers cast their nets so that today they can take fish as bait, then everyone, this net is mainly to find fish as bait fish, not called big fish yet. Fourteen fish, big fish, everyone. This one hurts a lot. Fifteen fish big fish to sell is difficult but finding small fish this season is very much. Both nets are probably 20 or 30 meters. Sang's brothers can collect quite a lot of fish. Mr. Huan has just visited both nets. Hey everyone, everyone, look at the fish. This is called a red-tailed fish or a dolphin. This one is not bigger, just a little bit bigger. Here is a catfish. The big palace here also has a big one, you two just leave it here, now I'll go visit everyone, if you don't stick, just hook the bait. Yesterday, the two brothers dropped 14 hooks with a set of fishing lines, the first two were no yes, this is the third and fourth tongue, I don't know what it is, but it's sticky, can you see the tip of the tree it vibrates? The fish below heard Sang's sound, it jerked the top of the tree, then here the third net is sticky, everyone, the third tongue is already eaten by fish. What fish? Feeling that going to visit the fisherman is nervous, Sang also doesn't know what kind of fish it is, I'll give it to you, slowly. What's this, everyone, look what's that what? Oh my god it's tight, look here everyone, squeeze it, and peel off the tree's skin, it goes through the wooden ring, this fish is so big guys then this is a big fish, people, it's so big, squeeze through that tree and lose a big piece of skin. This is the prey that is still alive like a goby, it is very tough, this is a big fish. Everyone, two fish at the same time always thought it was not sticky, thinking of putting down the bridge, then this one stick. Dot hold its mouth, this is today's sardines. Here, this one should be 3 kilograms, do you think it's beautiful? 3 kilograms guys, this is still not called aquatic monster, but here are the results. Everyone, look at the fish. Here, red lentils. The brothers also went down to the river to catch a lot, but this one looks quite nice, it's slim because this is the waterfall season, the fish it crossed the waterfall, one more this child must have been about 4 kilograms, because it was almost as big as a thigh, but the Sang brothers continued to go. Today, the two brothers saw the results, here is a sardines, a sardines, not very big, this size according to Sang is just right, 3 kilograms or something. Another thing, the net is very sticky. Then go back to your hut to remove the fish. Now the two of you see how to bring the net up to the house. Remove all the fish so that tomorrow we can continue to release the fish. Big water. Do you see the water this morning look fierce? And this is all the fish that the two brothers caught. Here must be a few kilograms of fish, here is a big catfish. This number of fish, the surviving ones will leave it for me to do. The bait continues to fish. As for the number that is dead, 
the two of you will do it and start by placing it on a rock or putting it on something. We call it a fish in the sun, the two of us intend to make dried fish. But on the island, where the two brothers live, there is no firewood, it can't make dried fish, so I made it for a sunny day. Today the two Sang brothers will make a sunny fish dish, drying right on this rock. It's always because the two of you are planning to stay here for a few days, so when the food is available, I have to reserve it. I cut it in half like this, marinated a little chili, a little salt, and then put it on the stone. Put grass leaves, go to the stream bank to have fish, you can stay at the kitchen or do it this way. I keep the fish for a long time, but this way, there are only sunny days, and it won't work when it rains. You two get probably dozens of fish, this is the next few days, then you two won't worry about food, this fish can make a lot of dishes, everyone, I can only eat if I stay in the kitchen. Like if I dry it like this, I can bake it again, I can fry it again or cook it in stock, either way it's delicious, if it's sunny, it'll be better, how much is this, enough food for the next few days. Going into this forest feels like time goes by so fast everyone, you guys just finished visiting the net and then made some fish there to dry in the sun, struggling now it's already 2pm. So yesterday, I went over here to remove a big net because today, everyone, look, the water it receded is very dry, yesterday, the water rose near the hut, but today the water receded, I dig up this whole lot, so tonight, Sang and Mr. Huan will go and release the net, this net, I can catch big fish, can you see the mesh? Very big, the mesh is almost as big as Sang's hand. Tonight, it's probably Sang and Huan who are both casting large nets and releasing small nets and fishing. Do all kinds of things to try to catch fish. Well, in general, going to this one is also very lucky. The sand today is convex, the dogs are also playing, but the sand. Just now, Sang and Mr. Huan, the two brothers have just finished releasing these nets as well as setting up some fishing lines. Now come in here to pick vegetables, once I bring it back to the hut, I will cook, cook dinner. In the forest, you don't need to bring much, everyone, just bring your net to spread a few fish. Then stop by the river bank to pick some vegetables and have a meal, everyone look at this vegetable stock, come back to cook fish soup for a while, now you guys go to drop the nets again and then return to that hut, it's also afternoon, evening, everyone sees life like that, it's normal quiet, simple.